My name is David Downey. My rank is Radium in Second Class. Okay, upon release, uh, separation from active duty from the Glennon, I uh, went back to Jersey City where I lived and went down to the training center where I had, had enlisted and I was given the option of attending meetings once a, once a month, no, once a week, uh, no, once a, I forget whether it was once a month or once a week, or to uh, go on a drill uh, one weekend a month on the minesweeper, which was tied up in the back of the training center on the Hudson There was a little pier there, and the MSCO 49, the Laura Key, was uh, tied up there. The chief petty officer took me out and showed me the ship. Uh, back then we called it a boat. Uh, he said, what would you prefer? Would you rather go on board this for one week in the month, or would you rather come to meetings? And uh, being I was a radio man, and they had no radio man on the uh, minesweeper, it, it presented a challenge to me, and I took the uh, minesweeper as a challenge. So uh, one week in the month, I went on board the minesweeper in uh, the Lorkey and uh, did my duties. Uh, we, we had a good time with that. We went to Atlantic City, New Haven, Connecticut, uh, a few other uh, visits. Oh, and uh, we went for two week training down in uh, Little Creek, Virginia. And uh, in the process, <clears throat> The first two weeks we went down to Little Creek, Virginia for our training. On the way down off the coast of New Jersey, we were traveling with the Fulmar, the MSCO 47 out of Perth Amboy. And uh, during that, we lost the Fulmar on our radar at night. We were only about maybe four or five miles off the coast going down. And in the morning, uh, we picked up a blip on the radar and thought that was the full one. So we closed in on it, and as we closed in, we saw it wasn't the full one. And uh, the captain put up some speed to, uh, when the sun was rising, and we came across a Russian trawler, which was uh, pulling in a radio gear. They used to come in close and monitor communications and. Uh, our, our uh, activities during during the night when they could, and then during the day they would sneak back out and pretend like they were fishing. So uh, we made a sight a sighting of the, uh, I believe the ship's name was America, and uh, our communications were so poor on, this was a Second World War minesweeper that was not brought up to snuff, and uh, I had difficulty communicating with Washington, trying to raise Washington on the radio, most code-wise, uh, CW-wise. Uh, I had to pass it off to the Coast Guard station in, uh, uh, I believe it was Cape May. And uh, I passed a message off to Cape May asking them to relay it, the Coast Guard, to relay it to Washington, D.C. for us, which they did. That was 15 July 1962. This was from the USS Lorkey to Sinclair Fleet, that's Commander-in-Chief Atlantic Fleet, unclassified. And the message reads, locating one single Russian fishing trawler, named Octal Kav. O-C-T-A-W-K-O-V, hull number 9068, latitude 37 degrees 13 minutes north, longitude 75 degrees 29 minutes west, at 15-12-15 Zulu time. Course. Zero four zero, true speed 
nine knots, visual contact, print, end of message. And it was, uh, as I say, it was transmit transmitted to Portsmouth uh, Coast Guard radio station and uh, to be relayed to Washington, which then was known as NSS. There was no flag. There was no flag, and uh, it had, it's hard to describe, but it had like uh, antennas going out like so, and uh, they were in the process of bringing them in and hiding them, which is what they used to do. And uh, then we assumed the, uh, the thing of uh, fishing vessel because that's why they were called trollers. <laughs>